I hope you guys are having a wonderful day or night depending on when you are watching this. This video is for a mature audience only when it comes to women's bodies. If you're younger than 12, I will watch this with a parent or get a parent's permission to watch this video. By no means, I am not a doctor, I am not a specialist. I'm just telling you guys what worked for me. So let's just hop right into it now. If you guys are not familiar with BV, BV is bacterial vaginosis. It is a bacteria that grows in the women's vagina. Women can get uh, BV unclean in any type of way. They can get it because uh, like if they have a certain shampoo that they're using that they might have switched up because when you're washing your hair and stuff like that in the shower that stuff can drip down there and that can get in your area. Also body washes are something that can cause the, the underwear even just underwear certain underwears can cause it you know if you have an underwear that are too tight you want to make sure you are wearing cotton underwear you know your vagina has to breathe. But you want to use cotton underwear, breathable underwear. I'm going to leave a link to some suggestions down below. Also, I'm going to leave a link down to some underwear that are breathable, but that are, you know, more on the sexy side. I'm trying to like go over some things first before I start going into the topics of uh, what products to use. Also, you want to make sure that you're wiping from front to back. <laughs> I feel like most people or most women know this by now, but just in case you don't know, you're a younger girl that don't know this. There's a lot of young girls out there that might not know that. You know, you want to teach them that at an early age so they know, you know, how to keep yourself clean down there. You don't want to be wiping boo-boo in your cuckoo. Just saying. Just make sure you're wiping from front to back. I have to make sure I really put emphasis on that. Front to back. Also, you know what's really important? White bees. It's really important for every woman to have white bees in their bathroom. Let me tell you why. Because sometimes there's leftover stuff. No matter how much we're wiping, tissue is dry. Let me just tell you, tissue is dry. Women, we have an open hole, two open holes that are really close together, okay? If you're not getting everything, and I mean every poop a doop in your butt crack, you, you might be leaving something behind that might transfer to your JJ. So it's really good for women to use wipes. Honestly, men should too, because that's kind of a stereotype thing when it comes to men not wiping their, their front area. Let me just tell you, I think men should wipe their penises. I think men should wipe themselves. I think they should take a YB and wipe themselves because they junk be sitting in their underwear all day. I feel like men get dirtier more than women. So honestly, men should really take care of themselves as well. I think that there are a lot of cause of why we get that too. So, you know, they don't wipe themselves like we do. We, we, we'll do all the work to keep ourselves clean, keep ourselves wiped and fresh down there. And then men are just taking out their penises, peeing and then putting it right back in their underwear. And I just think they just start using YBs and wiping themselves and drying themselves off because I just think it's not really fair, to be honest with you. Like, y'all should do some work too to make sure y'all staying fresh and clean when it comes to putting that area in our area, okay? Just just let y'all know, that's just a tip for you guys who may be watching the video as well. You really should try to you go for wipes that are sensitive and, and unscented. You can get some really cheap ones from Walmart, even Walgreens have some like cheap cheaper brands, or you can get a CVS brand, usually those are on the cheaper side. Make sure that you do follow after with some tissue because um, unless you're just gonna walk around and air dry your vagina. If you're going to let your vagina breathe throughout that day, maybe just wear a nightgown but no, no underwear on, then maybe you could get away with just wiping yourself with white beads. But you don't wanna do that if you're planning on putting some pants on or underwear on after because like, you don't wanna have too much moisture down there that can cause a yeast infection. The whole point is to keep our cookie, our JJ, our kitty cat clean. So yeah, so you wanna make sure you take some tissue afterwards and just pat it dry. Always wash your hands when dealing with your area down there you know just like we can get uh, sick from touching our face from germs on our hand you can get bacteria from touching your JJ without clean hands as well so just remember that too so wash your hands also you should change your underwear at least twice a day now this prevents um bacteria from again and bacteria from growing as well you're going to have some type of discharge regardless you don't want to walk around having too much discharge and you don't want to have none Having none is bad as well. It could be a whole nother thing itself. So you don't want to you don't want to have a situation where you're having none, and you don't want to have a situation where you're having too much. You want to have some. Your vagina has to clean itself, right? The bacteria has to go somewhere. It has to come out of you, right? So that's the thing. You don't want to stay in your bacteria. That's why we change your underwear twice a day because you don't want to sit in your bacteria because they can grow back in you, right? It's cleaning out. It's coming out of you, going into your underwear. You change that underwear half the day. Put another pair on. But if you're having a lot of discharge, I would try changing. A little bit more than twice a day maybe three or four times a day until you get back into a regular discharge amount i hope that's making sense you guys 
gotta try to you know make it make sense you always want to stay on top of your game when it comes to your discharge color um you want to make sure that you're you know the difference between what's normal and what's not normal obviously once you know that you have bb you can go the natural route of curing it you know usually bb these infections are really similar when it comes to your smell down there um every woman's different so this just remember that every woman's different if you feel like you don't smell good it's probably not something healthy if you do feel like you smell good i mean you're not going to smell like like a cupcake but you can to be honest with you you can make yourself smell sweet if that makes sense but you're not gonna always have a perfect smell i mean we get periods come on now i'm gonna i am gonna give you guys some uh tips on what you can do to make yourself smell sweet down there but you're not gonna smell perfect okay but we can try some things to make ourselves smell a little bit better like for instance um i wrote down every like some of the fruits and vegetables that you can eat so cranberries are really good cranberry juice uh pineapples fresh pineapples are probably the best to be honest with you and that i think is the number one for me because i really when i'm drinking a lot of pineapple juice or anything with pineapples in it i tend to smell better down there to be honest with you um apples are good ginger tea lemon celery cinnamon now you can even make like mix some of these together to make your own concoction hey guys i forgot to mention the most important liquid you should be drinking is water y'all probably sick of hearing people say this but it is a really important part of your health the same goes you are what you eat and that is very true so just remember and be cautious what you're putting in your body as well ladies and make sure to always stay make sure to always stay up to date with your doctor make sure you're staying in contact with them about your health and everything they're going to tell you what you have and what you don't have they're going to tell you the difference between whether you have a yeast infection or bd now that we got that out of the way let's get into the products of which you can use to cure your bd this is crazy i kind of discovered this one kind of i wouldn't want to say accident but kind of i wasn't like trying to cure my bd like with this product I was just taking it for other reasons, but it ended up just curing my BB. So let's just start with the main, main thing that helped with my BB. Uh, I tried the boric acid pills. That wasn't, you know, the ones in the little pink bottle, I'm gonna put it on the screen right here. Yeah, I, those wasn't really working. I tried that, I was still getting BB. By that point, I kind of just gave up and I was just like, well, I guess it's just my life. So the first product is black seed oil. And I got the capsules, the black seed oil capsules, because they're easier to just take. So I got these from Amazon. Now my brother always swears by that black seed oil cures everything but death. And you know, we hear the saying that he always say, he always says that and we're like laughing. So I'm like, okay, let me get those because maybe it'll help with my acne or whatever. And it does help with acne as well. Um, so I got this and it, that's when I started to know, notice a change in my, you know, discharge. I wasn't getting as much discharge and I'm just like, oh wow. And the only thing I knew I changed was this. So I knew it had to be the black seed oil. So this is like the main, this is like your your buddy this is your buddy right and then i paired it with other vitamins because it's important to take other vitamins as well it's really important so i take this this is azel i think that's how you pronounce it azel and this is the they have different um brands of azel this one is the cycle care and comfort and it has dirty capsules. It's really expensive. I got it on sale at my local drugstore. So, and it was like $10 at my lo local drugstore, but it's usually $21, $26 around that range. Pretty expensive. And it's vegan. Um, I am vegan, by the way. Um, I try to, I try my best to not intake dairy because um, that's another thing that's really important when it comes to your vaginal area. But uh, even when I were, was eating some dairy, this, this stuff still worked even when I was eating dairy. So, um, but also I just wanted to make sure my diet was just a better, I wanted to have a better diet. So I just decided to become a full vegan instead of a vegetarian. I also got vegan vitamin D. Vitamin D, as you guys can see, is another, yeah, you guys see that? Uh, vitamin D3 is another important vitamin that you want to take when you're, um, for bones, especially if you're a vegetarian. But like I said, um, you should have that regardless, even if you're not a vegetarian or you're, or you're not a vegan, you should always just try to have an extra supplement of vitamin D, especially during the winter months. If you live anywhere where there's snow, you're gonna have snow throughout the winter month, try to get uh, vitamin D because there's not a lot of sun. And I tend to not um, have enough vitamin D around that time of the winter. So stock a bowl of vitamin D. And then also another big benefit is probiotics. And this probiotic is really, I think it's just really good. And uh, again, it's a vegetarian slash vegan. I'm gonna link everything down below. It is really important to have a probiotic because a probiotic is going to clean out 
the bad bacteria out of your body is gonna get rid of the bad bacteria and leave good bacteria. I didn't realize how much I needed that until I started taking it. I realized that I started to feel, my gut felt a little bit better, if I'd say. Like, I started to feel more better in my stomach area. So probiotics is a really big thing when it comes to like your stomach. So yeah, that probiotics, vitamin D, the Azos Cycle Care, and the Top Notch Dog, <laughs> the Top Notch Dog Black Seed Oil. So you guys try that you know and it should be a life changer for you guys i know i was saying that i don't really like the boric acid that i took with the pink bottle but i do love honey pop products so i did get these for i got these for a just in case type of situation in case black seed oil would ever fail me i and yet it hadn't failed me yet but i got that for a backup just in case um because i love honey pop products so speaking of honey pop products i love this stuff right here this is their wash their feminine wash. This stuff is life changing, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think this is another benefit of why I stopped getting BB as well because this is made with some top notch ingredients. So it has lavender, vinegar, calendula. I think I pronounced that right. But anyway, vinegar to me has always been like an important uh, intake for your body. So I figure it has to be good for that area. If you know anything about vinegar, it's really good for antibacteria. It's 100% natural, it has a pH. 3.5 to 4.5 in it. It's cruelty free, sulfate free, it has no paraben and dioxide. It's another product that's on the expensive side, but you guys, I only use it for my armpits and my the JJ area and my butt hole, right? So I like to use the sensitive Dove body wash for the rest of my body so that way this will last longer. Autism, various skin conditions, lowering blood sugar and cholesterol levels, aiding in weight loss and protecting brain health. It's high in antioxidants, it also helps with inflammation. Guys, the list goes on. So do your research on black seed oil, it's amazing. A lot of women say that they get their area down there gets really itchy. Um, I haven't had specifically that, like a severe itch. Um, I had slight itching, but it never was severe. Um, but a lot of women did say that they get itching, but I noticed that when I use this, black castor oil, it has a lot of benefits as well. And so it's, it's another products that work with, um, like that prevents bacteria and can help with bacteria. So black castor oil, all I do is take one of these cotton rounds you can get a cotton round honestly from anywhere. You can even get it from like your local dollar store. Um, so what I like to do is just take one like this. I will take one like this and then I would just pour it on there and I kind of just let it like soak it up and then rub it around the whole pad and then just rub it on the top part of the areas that have the itchiness and that will soothe your vagina. It will make you not be itchy anymore. Just be careful to not get it up there. Again, we don't want to cause other bacteria. So another thing about these cotton rounds that are really good that you can do is you can take them. I usually take two because um, these are pretty thin and you want to roll them up and you want to put that between your vagina like that, right? And that will prevent stuff from getting in there. You know, you don't want the oils to get in there and just be really careful I always start by rubbing the oil on the top part of my vagina first so that way the most of the oil will be up top and then I kind of then go down so that way it won't be oil dripping down my vagina <laughs> so yeah so just be really careful and keep that in mind and just be mindful of that and just make sure that you're taking caution whenever you're using any products in that area no matter what it is even like the, the honey pot I was telling you about just be careful you know you don't want to get that stuff up inside of you just make sure that you're washing outside Okay, you guys, just be really careful. When it comes to cleaning your underwear, this is another important thing. What I like to use is OxyClean to soak my underwear. So you can take a bucket, you can get a bucket from anywhere. Again, you can buy a bucket at Dollar Tree for a dollar. Take your underwear, soak them in this. It has a, a directions on here on how to use it. I usually just take maybe like a couple like that much for about maybe 10 underwear. I soak my underwear in the OxyClean. And this gets off any stains from blood from our period time in a month and it will absorb it out of your underwear but i also take a toothbrush you can take a regular toothbrush any toothbrush you can get a toothbrush from anywhere you take a toothbrush and you just scrub the middle of your underwear really good this is after you let it soak them and this also helps with water setting water you don't have to wash your underwear again because we don't want to rewash our underwear right we want to be able to have them clean the first time it happens to all of us you also want to be careful what type of detergents you use once you're done soaking your underwear you're going to rinse this off you can also use shout um, but just make sure you're rinsing your underwear pretty well i'm pretty sensitive so if you're more sensitive than me just be don't use as much of OxyClean, even just a little bit of OxyClean goes a long way. So just be careful of how much you're using and just be mindful to rinse your underwear really well. A drop of this while you're soaking your underwear. I forgot to mention that. Just a drop of this when you're soaking your underwear, right? Because it also softens up anything that's on your underwear. It's going to soften your underwear up 
as well. Now, after you're done soaking your underwear, you, you're gonna wash your underwear. Now, you can either wash this with your regular clothes or you can wash them alone. I usually try to wash all my underwear clothes, like either by itself with like my undershirt and my bra. I tend to use stronger detergents for my clothes than I do for my underwear. Detergent that is pretty much fragrance free, no perfume, no dyes. I use the you can use any brand you want, but this is the brand I use for now because I'm cheap. <laughs> you can use this one from Purex, free and clear. And then I add just a little bit more of this. The Purex don't have a smell at all, but I do want my underwear just to have a more of a, somewhat of a smell. So I just add like less than a like half cup. Like I would say maybe one fourth. So you just want to wash your underwear with these two. A clear and free, perfume free detergent with just a tiny bit of fabric softener. I also like to use this one. This brand is pretty good and it is Slipping Purex from Natural Elements. This one has more of a smell to it and this tends to not really bug me either. All women should just use really light to little to no perfume detergents for their underwear. All all women have a sensitive vagina. Let's try to be more healthier and even if we don't feel like we have the most sensitive vagina, let's just naturally take on a more caring lifestyle when it comes to ourselves. You will feel better about yourself as well anyway. I think it's important for other women to help other women. Sometimes you don't even see certain videos up there. Some women are just scared to talk about it. You might see a doctor online talking about it, but sometimes the people that can help you the most are people that's not doctors who are going through it and they might be able to you know, help you out a little bit more. That is all the time I have. My battery did die, so the ankle kind of changed a little bit, guys. That's why, because my battery died about five minutes ago. It's a little bit of a long one, but I really hope that this video helps someone out there. If not all of you who are watching, don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, because I heard that helps the algorithm around here in YouTube world. Stay clean, stay healthy, take care of your vagina, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.